weld into it. I used my MIG on that. I think this is a stainless steel rod. And so I'm gonna to try to repair it with the Magnegas torch, see if I can get away with it. These are the uh, goggles I use, number 10s. Um, it's pretty bright. And then I'm gonna light it with this uh, benzene torch. All right, so basically I've just uh, sanded this with some sandpaper. I think it's about 120 grit. Um, I should probably grind it. I'm just gonna see how it works like this. See how the, uh, just to test out the power of the magna gas. We'll see if this uh, holds. So there's a little bit of weld there. I'm gonna just go like that. This is my welding rod. I, I, I think it's R34 or something like that. I forgot, but it's just for acetylene. Uh, might help to uh, open up the valve, the uh, magna gas, the oxygen. All right, I'm going to try to use, that's more oxygen, that's less oxygen. I'm going to try to use a little less oxygen. I think it might give me a better weld. I'm not exactly sure, but let's see what happens here. So yeah, this is stainless, which uh, needs to be really hot to weld. I think it's stainless. I'm pretty sure it's stainless. I got it at the uh, scrapyard. All right, I'm gonna put my goggles on soon. So yeah, I'm heating up the uh, both the sides here. All right, the bottom one I can see some puddle happening top I'm getting a little puddle and now I'm going to just feed the rod. Now I guess this might be the first time I've tried welding uh, stainless. I'm just using a regular rod, it's not a stainless rod. I can look into that. I guess. See how this works though. I, people weld with MIG welders. They weld stainless with regular MIGs all the time so I'm assuming this will work. Maybe the weld won't be rust proof like stainless, but that's okay. Right, so, yeah, definitely have to work on the technique a bit, but swirling it into the upper rod, into the lower rod. sparks. I need to get a uh, number 10 uh, welding mask, I mean um, shade lens, number 10 shade lens for the uh, camera. And then I can better show you, uh, you can see what I'm looking at. So yeah, I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. I'm going to do the other side now. It probably took forever to do that. It, it doesn't seem like when you're welding, but then I'll look back and the tape will be like 10 minutes long. But I'm gonna learn editing better. All right. Let's see. So this side's cold. It was cold. I mean, you can totally see how hot this stuff is. Although, you really got to try it yourself. 
because it's really cool. It's clean, burning. I'm inside a garage. I mean, there's a lot of ventilation, but it's clean anyway. And it's supposed to emit oxygen. It's a oxygen-rich gas. You use less. Um, you use less oxygen than you, than you would if you were using acetylene. I think I should have heated up that a little more. I'm gonna just get the puddle going. Add the rod. You see the sparks? Ten thousand degrees. Surface of the sun. I mean, it is very mesmerizing. The thing about magma gas. All right, I'm gonna just kind of dig into the bottom there. Maybe I'll try to do a. Let's see, make sure everything's good here. Look at that! Look at that glow. I'll try this side next, just to let that cool a little bit. I'm going to just do a plain old, uh, I'm going to just try to do a bit of a weld without the rod on this side. I've got a little bit of weld from before that snapped off. Maybe that can be used as a filler. up. Let me make a little puddle, swirl it. Should we steady your hand more? See the spark? 